Hi, I'm Clint Engel with Furniture Today. I'm at the Potato Barn with Greg and Mike Bongiorno. They are the father and son owners of the Potato Barn. And we're in Scottsdale, but there's more than one store. But Greg, I just wanted you to tell me a little bit about the Potato Barn, how, it, how you started, how you got the name. Uh, the Potato Barn started in 2002, and how we got the name was incidental because we, it was an old barn that we knew nothing about. We ended up clearing it out through uh, a liquidation of inventory, and as the locals would come through, you saw them reminiscing, looking at the building, the tracks on the floor, and they had mentioned that this is where they worked as teenagers in a potato barn. So the name stuck, and that's how it started. And so, and, but and how does the consumer know to shop the potato barn for furniture? Because if I remember right, you say you don't do any advertising. Okay. Word of mouth. Okay. Um, okay. And so, tell me a little bit about what you're going for in the store. What 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 you offer? Who some of your suppliers are? And uh, you, just your niche. I mean, we've always tried to do uh, offer a good value, a good style, a good unique kind of uh, selection of what we do. We do dom domestic, we do imports. Uh, some of the companies, you know, Bramble and Dovetail and Classic Home, that we do some of our case good importing. Uh, we do good upholstery with um, fa factories uh, in LA, New Dimensions, John Michael Designs, uh, some imported stuff, bespoke. Uh, but everyone has to fit the criteria where it's it's unique, it's a good value, it's a good look, and it's it's you know kind of fits our our style. And you're unusual in the sense that you're uh, you're selling off the floor in many cases. Can you give me an idea of how much how much is like one of a kind product? Yeah, I mean we bring in a thousand pieces a month and I would say about half of that is is something that's not going to repeat itself or if it does it might be six months down the road um, so it, it's it's a pretty good 50-50 split of, of what we are staples that are always here or, or on the way or versus stuff that you better get it because it's it's not going to be back. Mike I think you said this but maybe Greg you could speak to it uh, about how you're sort of the anti-retail anti <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, we try to not be open too much. Uh, we're like uh, most stores are always open. We're hardly ever open. Wait, so, so what do you mean? When, when are you? Open? Our hours are Wednesday through Saturday, uh, ten to six. Close Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Hmm. Catch us if you can. So, what do you do with all that spare time when you're not open? <laughs> what do I, I think about furniture. <laughs> I dream. Uh, no, uh, we we play music. Uh, music is fun. Uh, we were at a ball game the other night. Uh, we just try to spend a little bit more time away from it. Uh, get rested from when we are here because we pour it all. We leave it all on the floor. Uh, you know, every week. Uh, come Saturday, we're exhausted.